Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new, and I want to thank all of my returning subscribers and visitors. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. We're getting started with your reading. Let's see what we have here. Well, this flew out of the deck, Three of Cups, so I like that energy. You're having fun with friends. At the bottom of the deck, we have Five of Cups. A sense of really strong disappointment, sadness, grief. That is your energy, Scorpio. So we also have the Nine of Cups. You are having fun with friends. You're doing well in your career. You, you're enjoying social media. There's a little bit of conflict probably at home somewhere, maybe with children or family. It doesn't look like anything serious. It looks like you're having a good life. So let's see what the energy is in the recent past for you and your person of interest. The Queen of Swords, very logical, Libra Queen, being very matter of fact, being very aloof, being very, very fact oriented. But remember, the Libra Queen is ruled by Venus, the planet of love, and Saturn, the planet of commitment the seventh house of marriage and the astrology. We'll look at this. Your energy is that you're having a blast. You're so having fun. You couldn't be more joyful. Both of you are just enjoying life, living large, enjoying summer, enjoying the heat, enjoying the weather, possibly traveling, beautiful energy. But it really is a card of um, happiness and joy, happiest card in the deck. I always find this is really necessary to have a happy marriage. Uh, the, these, the cards that always have the sun in them have, I mean, excuse me, the readings and the couples that have the sun in their readings really indicate like almost like a life force. There's something very hot and intense about your life force together. The Six of Wands, look at that energy, that is Leo energy. You are about to introduce each other to your friends. This is a very public announcement. Your person really wants to strut you around. They want to have their arm interlocked with yours. They want to say, look at me, I'm with Scorpio. I'm so happy, I'm so lucky to be with Scorpio. Like it, they're so proud of you. They're so proud of what they have with you. The way they view you, oh my goodness, Capricorn devil energy. So what I would say about this is the, ri <laughs> some cards are just louder than others, okay. The devil card manifests most often as a person thinking that you are controlling, okay. And so what I see here is they think you are a sexy devil, they are obsessed with you, but they definitely think that you always have, you know what you want. You know what you want. You want what you want. And you definitely, with this Queen of Swords energy, have, if somebody doesn't meet your criteria, you are not going to give them the time of day. So it does show that whatever you give uh, has a requirement. You definitely have strings attached that you're just not giving yourself to anyone. Um, but they do find you so sexy. Look at look at that devil. My God, great tattoos, sparkles in the hair, sparkles in the eyes, beautiful green eyes, very exotic. They're obsessed with you. Ooh, they want to come in and tell you something. Look at that. They're running towards her motorcycle. They have a lot to say to you. I call this the runs with scissors card. It's Gemini energy. So they have a lot to say and they will blurt it out. Oh, the Ten of Wands, okay. How they view the situation going forward with you in a relationship is, it looks as though they may be moving. It looks as though, this is almost like being called back to the military or somebody who's in a deployment situation. I Because I'm not seeing this, there's all this happiness. And then there's this real, you know, they have a lot to say and write after. They're telling you that they have to leave. I don't feel as though they want to leave at all. I feel as though they have to for some other reason. And again, I do have a military family. Um, this looks like deployment, you know. It almost could be like special forces, somebody who's working, you know, as a contractor, getting called very suddenly away. 
This can also be people like airline uh, pilots and so forth, airline crew members that often are on call and have to leave to travel and pack pack their suitcases and go. So I've never said that in a reading before, but this energy is so, it's just not logical without a reason for them to run to leave, okay? So let's see what we have. Page of Cups energy. Both of your, this looks like a fairly new relationship. It doesn't look like the two of you are settled in yet. You both have a lot of love. You're keeping it fun, easy, breezy, lighthearted, but you're having a blast. Spirit is recommending, oh my gosh, look at this. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Make a commitment to this relationship is what Spirit is saying. Ten of Cups is Pisces energy. Spirit is saying, trust yourself. The Nine of Swords, you are, so, oh, look at both of you are in tears over this, what looks like an unplanned and forced separation. So Nine of Swords energy, really feeling very, very worried. But there is a dove with all these crows, with all these messages, there is a beautiful dove. To me, that dove is telling you, be calm, don't worry everything will work out okay so let's see what we have here in terms of clarifiers for you okay so why are you so sad it looks but I, now i'm seeing why there's sadness okay so why is the five of cups here for our beautiful scorpio friends why is the five of cups here why is the five of cups here for scorpio strength card look at that so you both have fire in your belly for each other excuse me that was upright um, this is really a card that says you'll wait for them, that the two of you are not leaving each other alone, that you're going to stay by one, one another's side metaphorically. This is a card of, you know, very strong. You have the infinity symbol is a number eight. So it looks as though regardless of what's happening here on the mundane level, it looks like it could very much be the energy of you know, the two of you getting ready to be in separation for a period of time. The Three of Coins says that it's probably something related to work. Okay. Somebody could have a, a major job loss also that's going to impact the relationship. We have the Queen of Swords again. Staying logical. Doing, you know, following the letter of the law. Doing, uh, you know, being very mindful of what's going on. Okay, so what? Do, why do we have the Queen of Swords here twice? Ten of Pentacles. Well, both of you are in agreement that you want family, you want children, you want love, you want stability, you want abundance. The Ten of Coins is very definitely a family that dedicates itself to creating abundance and a safe place for everyone, a safe haven, that you have nice vacations, there's money for tuition and paying the bills, but it is a legacy energy. It's handing down your legacy to the next generation and both of you are on the same page. Why is the Sun card here? Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you met each other very unexpectedly. You had the good fortune of meeting each other because destiny brought you together. All right, so feeling very lucky. Why is the Six of Wands card here? Look at that. The Queen of Pentacles. So your person sees you as somebody who's very buttoned down. They see you as a person who has a strong career. They see you as a person who's very powerful, who loves very deeply, who takes care of those that they love, and you're very loyal, and that you really have very, you have a lot of intuition because you can see her like little branches, almost like the deer's, a deer's horns, but it shows that she's very intuitive, very nurturing. Why do they see you as the devil here, Scorpio? What is going on with that? Wow, no, they're obsessed with you. They, <laughs> all right, because we see this. This is how they view you. This is how they feel about you. This is how they feel that you feel about them. And so they're really obsessed with you. 
it looks as though they don't want to they're i would say they're very possessive with you the two of you could be very possessive of each other because both of you are feeling very much very lucky and very fortunate to be in this energy okay so let's see what we have here for the knight of swords energy that's a weird heart space energy what is that doing five of swords oh you, they've received bad news they're very unhappy about it your person feels very strongly that this is a very unfair situation look at this again oh my god this is so crazy look what's happening here the devil card and the sun it's very strange right the devil card and the devil card the sun card and the sun card There's almost a feeling of imprisonment here, like in circumstances. Feeling imprisoned by circumstances and being taken away from each other. Feeling as though just when you found your happiness, spirit or the, war, the universe came in. It's testing you. Why is the devil card here twice? Justice card. You know, the devil card can be obsession. The devil card can be addiction. It can be, usually it's pretty straight up. It's just somebody who feels that they need to be in control to feel safe. But with the justice card and the queen of swords twice, it really looks like there's a chance that somebody may be in some really big legal trouble. So let's see what we have here. So I'm not seeing any, any, I don't see the cards of any kind of incarceration. So I don't think it's that kind of trouble. I just feel as though, you know, it's like a contract. You join the military. I still think it's like military deployment that, you know, even if you don't want to go back, if you don't go back and do what you're supposed to, you would be arrested for being AWOL, right? So it is a legal obligation. The two of you really love each other much more deeply than you're admitting. Why is the Ten of Cups here, Scorpio? You're both very much underwater. You're both feeling very depressed. You're feeling lost without one another. It looks as though Spirit is saying that that's part of your journey. So it's beginning to look a little twin flamey to me. Twin flame soulmate, yeah, for sure. Okay, let's see what we have. Ten of Wands. Again, going away. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. Wow, okay. All right, we need some answers here. This is still a very, very foggy situation. As far as the storyline goes, I mean, you know, that when we're doing a general reading, the exact storyline isn't so important. But what we're seeing here is a separation against your will, against your person's will, uh, a feeling of um, loss with one another, a feeling of devastation. Put away your computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Okay, that's sort of an odd card. We don't get that one very often. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Okay, Scorpio. So this is a true love for you. One more card for what's happening in this messages of love. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. That's what I said with the Sun card. It really can with the Legacy card, Sun card, Ten of Cups card. So it shows that you really have the potential to go the distance here. Okay, so let's see what... I would like to see what Moonology is going to say to us about this relationship. I just can't see this any other way. Somebody has to leave. They're not happy about it. It looks very sudden. It's not something that was expected. It looks like there's something inherently unfair about the situation. And both of you are, are you really, you're still, you're so, I would almost say you're obsessed with each other, but the devil card means that you're going to endure 
a very challenging or hellish time and you're not going to let go of each other. The circumstances are controlling both of you, okay? And they feel very burdensome because the devil energy is very burdensome. But it does look like you, the two of you will ascend out of these circumstances. What do we need to know? Look at New Moon and Scorpio. Work through your fears, okay? So this is a time when you're going to really have to face a shadow of, of how you feel in love under circumstances like this. Okay. So, let's see. We have Eye of the Needle. Oh my gosh, if that is not the Eye of the Needle... Again, once again, that's so almost like a warrior having to go through the eye of the needle. But both of you, this is intentionality. One in seven is eight. Eight is stability. Eight is learning how to be there for each other. Eight is learning how about each other. Crown games, right use of power. So it does show that both of you are very powerful people, but it does show that the relationship is waffling. In this stress, in this situation, it looks like you're very vulnerable. You feel very lost. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do to avoid the separation at this time. Neither of you want it. Dragon's Horde protecting the future. All right, so it does look like the two of you are in the energy of being very hell-bent, if you will, devil energy, right? You're very hell-bent on staying together and being there for one another. I'm going to look at the um, fairy oracle. Heart of the fairy oracle. Is there any darkness or anything we need to know about Scorpio? Or any messages for Scorpio about darkness from their partner? Or is this circumstantial? Please tell us, Spirit, what the answer is. Prick up your ears. Okay, pay attention. The Fairy of Youth. Okay. So the Fairy of Youth can say that, you know, pay attention when there are behaviors left over from when you're very young. And to me, that can be partying and drinking and, you know, things like that. But it also can be obligations that you formed when you were young. Again, you know, a lot of military people go in very young. Um, if anybody would like an extended here, if you would like to purchase an extended, I will do one. But I will only do it if I get five or more people requesting. I won't have time otherwise. Um, but I am happy to dive into this more deeply. But right now the time constraints are pretty firm. So please let me know in the comments below what this means to you. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Sending you love. Bye-bye.